This is a short video clip on the absolute basics of autograph, um, basically plotting straight white line graphs and exploring y equals mx plus c. First thing that I do um, when using autograph in class is to turn the whiteboard mode function on, so just click up there. And then if I want to draw a couple of simple straight line graphs, I just click here on the equals plus symbol. So by way of example, I could have y equals 2x minus 1. Up here, I another one, I could have um, y equals minus x plus 1. So two very simple straight line graphs. If I'm doing this on an interactive whiteboard, I might want to use um, the pen just to annotate. So I'm doing this with maths, so it won't look particularly great. But I can label this one, so that's y equals and that's minus x plus 1. But that pen tool is very, very useful in class for annotating names and lines. If I was doing some work on simultaneous equations, I could just highlight the point of intersection. Now, I can take it a stage further. So if I click um, New 2D Graph Page, I get a blank graph. And then I might want to explore y equals mx plus c in its full generality. So I can just click y equals mx plus, so type, sorry, y equals mx plus c. And if I click OK, this defaults with m equals 1, c equals 1. And then I've got a lovely tool here that's called the constant controller. So if I click on that and just move it down to there, so I might be interested in how changing the C variable affects the shape of the line. So C currently equals 1, we're going to change it in steps of 0.1. And if I just click the up and down arrow, I can see how the shape of the graph changes when C equals 2, when C equals 3. I can obviously show students how things change if I run it all the way down to C equals minus 1. And then obviously I can do exactly the same thing with the m variable. So if I set m equals m equals 1 by default and change it in steps of 0.1, we can see how the shape of the graph changes as m increases. But just importantly, I can show students how the shape of the graph changes when m equals 0 and what happens when m equals negative values. I hope you found this a useful video and like I said, just the very, very basics of autograph.